Well, a cold front uh, recently moved through yesterday, and um, as a result it's been really windy here lately. I think the wind gusted probably over 40 miles an hour yesterday. And as a result, uh, the power got knocked out for a few hours, which left me without anything to do. So after about an hour or maybe two, I started digging around in my drawers and found some stuff. That didn't come out right. I've got a lot of junk in my chest of drawers. I guess I'm kind of a pack rat. I never really like to throw things away. And uh, while I was looking around in them, I found uh, all these envelopes that I never use. I'm not sure how many envelopes are here, but there's a lot of them. And I also found some um, airmail stickers that I used to use when I wrote to a pen pal in another country. I'm not sure um, which country it was because it was such a long time ago. But it was overseas, I think. Next, we have an old TV guide with South Park on the cover. It's from March 28th to April 3rd, 1998. So it came out at the beginning of the second season. Now we have a leather-bound notebook. Although I guess it's not really a notebook, it's more like a folder with um, some paper in it. They're mostly blank, but I do have a few things written down. Mainly just uh, notes for Clover Beach that I'll never use and um, some loose paper uh, with some notes for the portal and um, various other things that I just jotted down, like the fact that um, ammonia and bleach makes mustard gas. I guess I wanted to remember that for some reason. This is a solar panel that I never had any use for, so I just left it in the box. It's supposed to charge the batteries for small items like um, portable televisions, radios, maybe car batteries, and um, general stuff like that. And here we have the Net Picker's Guide for Next Generation Trekkers by Phil Forand. It's uh, supposed to cover the first six seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation and point out some bloopers, flubs, technical screw-ups, and plot discrepancies. And it does a fair job of it, too. And this is just an old notebook that I've got various random stuff written down in. I've got an address, screen sizes, never on Sunday, whatever that's for. And I've also got some old files that I wanted to download from the internet via FTP. At least I think it's from the internet. I've been from a local BBS or something. Anyway, I've got some FTP sites listed, so it must be from the internet. And most of the pages are blank. But, um... 
I guess that's all that's in it. And lastly, we have some old magazines that I used to subscribe to. This is Astronomy Magazine from April 1996. This is Final Frontier from December 1996. Earth Magazine from March 1992 and Monitoring Times from January 1993 This is um, Amateur Radio Monitoring Magazine and yeah that's pretty much all that I found of interest while I was waiting for the power to come back on after the wind knocked it out. Eventually it did.